Um, my name's Leo Gregory. I'm Martin Kemp. And thank you very much for watching Film News. Martin Kemp and Leo Gregory, it's a pleasure to meet you. And you. And you. Congratulations on a great film. I watched it this morning. Thank Superb. You. Real gritty hooligan crime drama. What attracted you both to, to the project in the first place? Um, what attracted me was uh, the opportunity to come on the uh, production side of things and, and be a part of the whole process instead of just turning up for day one or whatever of the shoot and, and doing the acting bit. So that really appealed to me. Um, also working with Martin, um, Dougie I've worked with before, Jonathan Sothcott. We'd wanted to work together for quite a few years and never really quite found the right project. So all the elements came together. Um, and then going back to the acting side to play a character who, you know, has two polar opposite sides, you know, this violent, aggressive alpha male um, juxtaposed with this loving father and husband, you know. So, um, so I think any actor wants to play that kind of a role, you know, two polar opposites. Sure, yeah. And yourself, Martin? What was the question? What draw you to draw you <laughs> to the film? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, what drew me to it? Because I've, I think because when uh, Dougie and Leo came to me, you know, I've seen a lot of these films that concentrate solely on how good you can shoot the violence, how good you can sh make a f uh, like give those kind of fight scenes MTV looks, you know, of like maybe you slow it down, maybe you jutter it, maybe you speed it up, you yeah, know, yeah, stop start, and then uh, and I thought you know what, I'd like to make one of these films that is about performance, where the acting is absolutely fabulous, and we see the effects of the violence, mm -hmm. rather than just the sole purpose is like kick and tell, you know, he, yeah, he yeah. hits him so he hits him back, he hits him so he hits him back, and I wanted uh, to bring great actors in uh, so that we can make a piece of drama that I don't think we've seen on one of these. Yeah, no, no, it's superb. It's already winning awards. The Independent um, British Independent Film Festival yeah, this this weekend. Yeah. Pleased about that, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. But I mean, Lee, your, your character obviously, um, you know, quite a violent fag head of the firm. What do you do to acclimatise to sort of roles like that? Um, to be honest, I've um, I was a season ticket holder at Tottenham for years, um, so you know I know some of the older chaps that used to do this when when it was more, I don't want to say fashionable, but more, uh, more in, the, in, the, in the time, shall we say, in the 80s. Um, and then just, you know, just my, just my life, you know, I've not, um, you know, I come from an affluent background, so, you know, growing up in London, living on estates and stuff like that, is, you know, just growing up in London, I think, it, it sort of instills a certain, a certain something about you, you know, I mean, certain, streets and areas of London can, can be a bit, you know, a bit iffy at the best of times. So growing up in London, you kind of have that side about you a lot, really. Um, so it's not a character that I have to go searching for yeah, too, yeah. too far and wide, I've got to be honest. But I think what Leo brought into the character that I, re I loved all the way through watching it, the other side of the screen, was the vulnerability yeah, of definitely. the character, which uh, you don't see a lot. You know, it's usually when guys play hard men, they keep that hard man running throughout. And I think what Leo played so well was the vulnerability of it uh, and uh, how delicate it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got, you know, you're clearly at home with the sort of the genre, just finished The Hooligan Factory. You know, so uh, you're sort of drawn to these roles in a way then. Or they, um, they find you or you find them? Well, to be honest, as I say, this um, was about coming in as a producer and, and being this side of the process. Hooligan Factory, uh, very, very funny film, but that was literally a favour for, for a mate of mine. Um, and also, it's a kind of... Um, I'm, I'm doffing the cap a bit. I'm, I, I haven't done a film... I wouldn't call this a hooligan film, Top Dog, but there is an element of it in there. I haven't done a film like that for, for a long time, and. Believe you me, I've turned down way more than I've done with them. Um, so I did this this one, and then Hooligan Factory, as I say, I kind of feel is a bit of a, 
off the cap to the to the genre, but you yeah, know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's 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 a very different film. It's a spoof film. It's a bit of fun. It's, it's very, yeah, it's no. very funny. It's very funny. I mean, there's clearly a lot of violence in the film, and although it's pretty dark and you know, the comeuppance is there. You know, the approach to portraying the violence. Are you always sort of worried about sort of glorifying it in a way? Yeah, obviously. absolutely. I'm worried about it. You know, I, I don't like seeing movies that glorify violence, but I don't think in Top Dog we do. I, I think we show it for what it yeah. is. I think the danger of glorifying violence is when you put it in something like the A Team, where someone gets uh, hurt one minute and they're better in the next scene. And I think that is glorifying violence, right? I think when you show violence and you show someone getting killed from violence, you show the effects of the violence in the house, uh, how it breaks families up, you're not glorifying it. There, there's a moment in the movie when, when uh, the character Hawk gets beaten up around the uh, canal. Right. That is, it hurts you when you see it happen. And that's, I don't think that's glorifying violence. Yeah, no, no, absolutely not. I mean, um, Stalker was your last film you directed yeah, or wrote. Yeah. And interpreting sort of somebody else's words, you know, yeah. is it more difficult, easier? How do uh, you find it? No, it was, it's just different. It's a lot of fun. You know, I love uh, the idea of anything on film where it's collaborative. I love working with people and throwing ideas in a pot and then finding out and listening to other people's ideas and bringing, uh, you choose the best idea. And it's not just you with one idea saying, oh, I'm going to do it this way. It's listening to Leo's ideas, listening to Dougie's ideas. Dougie, I have to say, was absolutely fantastic on this. You know, because he already had the book and I was throwing things at him saying, but what if, what if, what if we did this? And Dougie never once said to me, um, no, but it's not true to the book. He said, let's try it. So he, he would always give me back the written page with the idea on and we would just find the best way to go. Yeah, no, superb. I know you're a big Arsenal fan as I am. What was it like filming? Is it, is a Spurs fan. <laughs> <laughs> Interviews over. Yeah. <laughs> but what was it like filming from a Spurs perspective then? It yourself? was. It was kind of. Um, it was cool actually, to be honest. And I have a lot of respect for some of the guys that came down. You know, I mean, I have to say, there was one guy. Do you remember the, the fellow who came down? He had the bald head and he had a big cannon on the side of his head, and he had Arsenal till I die. And I had to go up to him and say. Do you mind singing Yid Army? <laughs> <laughs> I took great delight in <laughs> So, so uh, listen, you know, you walk onto a set and it doesn't matter what the team is, so you're making a movie. Uh, I've grown up doing that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a real sort of tribal, you know, feeling and identity being in these firms. You know, in a parallel universe, Leo, would you know, would you, could you see yourself in, in a firm type thing, you know, 20 years earlier? <coughs> Honestly, I was at um, I was at a party a little while ago, and it was for a clothing label um, called Weekend Defender. They're gonna love me for that. <laughs> and um, and basically, the label attracts kind of a lot of sort of hooligans and people like that. So when I was at this party, and there was this guy, and uh, bless him, he'd had a lot to drink and stuff, and he was a bit full on. Anyway, he kept. You know, right in your space, right in your space, he kept coming up to me, he's going, oh yeah, oh yeah, you would have made a brilliant hooligan, you would have made a brilliant hooligan, you should have been a hooligan, you should have been a hooligan, would you have been a hooligan? <laughs> and I, had to, I didn't want to burst his bubble, but I stopped and I looked at him and I just went, no. And he went, well, why not? And I went, because you don't get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to risk a prison sentence <laughs> yeah. and a brick to the face and maybe a Stanley knife to the gut, I believe I want to get paid for it. And, and, you know, I'm all about loving my team and all the rest of it, but... I think, you know what, you can persuade me to be a boxer. You could possibly persuade me in another life to be a gangster. You'd have a hard time persuading me to go and kick shit out of people. For no yeah, money. true, true. But I was lucky enough to be at um, to the Premier of Soul Boys of the Western um, World in, in Austin, Texas this, uh, this March. You know, we did a great interview with Spandau there as well. Um, but do you prefer being in front of the camera or, or behind it, no, personally? No, 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 I like it all. I, I like every aspect of it. Uh, I think that's part of being a director is that you collect all those aspects, you uh, collect all those different experiences along the way, and you use everything. You know, you, when you're making a film, you're, you're using drama, you're using music, you're, you're yeah, using yeah. photography. It's all your hobbies squashed down into and put into one big ball. You know, and I think. I think in America they, they understand it a lot better than we do, you know, you're allowed to go from one to the other um, and it's called entertainment, you know, and uh, yeah. I think here 
We, they don't like seeing a person do too many th different things. But uh, I love it all, man. I, you know, there's nothing. Uh, I love being with my mates in Spandau, but then I love, I love directing. I, I love work. I love being an actor on the film. You know, uh, they're all my hobbies. Yeah, well, congratulations. Brilliant job. Uh, really enjoyed much. it. Thanks a lot. Cheers. 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 Great. Great. Thanks a lot. Good to see you, man. Thank you.